يسعد إخوانكم في منتدى فرسان السنة بالتعاون مع المدرسة الربانية للمرئيات أن يقدموا لكم هذه المادة Welcome to Ramadan Reminders I'm Yusuf Estes reminding myself and all of us the importance of the holy month of Ramadan Today I'd like to talk about something real key and that is to have the proper understanding of what Ramadan actually is and what it means to us. And we should begin where Allah begins, of course, with the Quran itself. In the very beginning of the Quran, we learn an important lesson. And the lesson here is what's needed to be guided by the Quran. When Allah tells us, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alif Lam Mim, Thalik al-Kitab al-Raybafi, Hudil al-Murtaqeen. Allah is telling us that the Quran itself has absolutely no doubt in it. It is the book without doubt. And then he tells us it's, it's a source of huda or guidance for those people who have taqwa. Taqwa, this means to have a God consciousness, to fear the punishment of God and to hope for the mercy of God. Now how can I attain that state of mind? And it's very simple. Just keep reading the Quran and Allah will tell you what it takes to get to be in that condition, the state of a taqwa. And in verse 183 of this very same chapter, Surah Baqarah, he tells us, O you who believe, fasting has been ordered for you as it was ordered for the people before you so that you can attain this state of a taqwa. Allah goes on to tell us even how important it is and he tells us how you begin it and then what to do if you have a difficulty in it. It's so simple. Just follow the rules. But where to look? And again we say, look to the instruction book that comes with life itself. Some people tell us that life doesn't come with an instruction book. Well, those are people who don't know about the Quran because in fact, it is the instruction book that comes to us in the month of Ramadan from the very beginning and then every Ramadan comes to us again and again and again. One of the other things I'd like to mention and remind myself and us about is the starting of Ramadan must be what Allah says in the Quran by citing the Hilal. The Hilal means the beginning, the very, very beginning of the new moon. The tiny little sliver kind of looks like a fingernail. You know when you trim your fingernails, you look up in the sky and say, oh, who left their fingernail up there? Well, this would be the beginning of the month of Ramadan. And this is what our teachers and scholars have told us to follow that, to look for that and cite it. And then we know when to begin. Oftentimes we find that there are differences of opinions throughout the world when the month should start. One of the simplest ways to solve the problem really is to look to our own imams and then ask them. Whatever they tell us, we'll accept it from them and go with that. If there's a difference of an opinion, then rely on the imam in your own particular area. Because after all, you're going to fast with your own friends and family right there, and you're going to be sharing with them throughout the month. So it's important to start together, fast together, pray together, and stop together. This is one of the easiest ways to solve the problem, and not worry what somebody's doing in the next county or the next state or the next country or halfway around the world. Be with your Imam. Remember what we learned from our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when he told us, follow your Imam. I think this is one of the best ways to solve a problem like that. Also, don't worry about what other people tell you, emails they send, websites they put up. We will know that the shaitan will play with all of us. And I don't need to try to go out and tell other people. And I don't need to worry about what they say. Just follow my imam. So that's one of the ways that we get started and enjoy our Ramadan and take the benefit from the Ramadan. Ramadan is to do what? It's to fast, if you can. If you can't, there are some provisions for you. What about the meaning of this fasting anyway? What does it actually mean to fast? It means to stay away from something that you ordinarily would do. We're not going to eat, we're not going to drink, and 
we're not going to have intimate relations with our spouses during this time because that's what the psalm is really about how long is that is that 34 days oh my gosh i would die if i don't eat or drink well actually it's only during the daylight hours from the time that the sun goes down and disappears over the horizon until it begins to start shedding light in the morning those are the times that we can eat and drink so when the sun goes down till it comes up you can eat you can drink you can uh, take uh, all of the enjoyment of the things that ordinarily you would leave during the daytime in the month of Ramadan that's how simple it is how beautiful it is and that's just one of the many reminders that we have with Ramadan reminders until next time peace Assalamu alaikum Bin Nur Ashraq Wal Huda Ramadan Wal Khair Aqbal Wartaq Al-Iman Bin Nur Ashraq Wal Huda Ramadan Ramadan Wal Khair Aqbal Wartaq Al-Iman Wal Muslimun Al-Saimun كالجند في سوح الوغى فرسان